What's up, Taurus? Welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot. Or welcome back if you're returning. Thank you so much if you are. I appreciate you guys for coming back, seeing me every month. Glad the readings are resonating. If you're new, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm so glad you found the channel. Hope it resonates with you. If it doesn't, I'll just go ahead and tell you to check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs. You might find something there that does. And if the reading does resonate with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment because I will be choosing from the comments of the most liked video every month someone to give away a free private reading to. All right, so if you want to book a private reading with me, you can find my email um, address in the description box below the video. You can also find the link to my Patreon page there where I'll be uploading an extended version of this reading like I do all the rest of the Zodiac reads. You can get access to all 12 for only $3.33. Um, you can also find my Twitter and Instagram links there in the description box as well. And let's see, if you're new also, you'll see that I use my pendulum to determine the direction of the cards. I don't just take the reversals as they come out. And of course, uh, time and energy is fluid. So I'm reading for September, but this could have already played out. It could play out, be playing out now or play out any time in the future. And since energy is fluid, it's general. It's not going to resonate with all of you. And you can mix and match the energies between you and your person, but you won't have the force. And of course... We're reading energy, not gender. So kings can be queens, kings can be kings, and vice versa. We all have masculine and feminine energy in us. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And tentatively for the month of September 2020, if this resonates with you on a non-romantic level, feel free to remove the romantic connotations. But I am focusing on love and romance. All right, so spirit, lady be spread for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for... September 2020 or whenever they're watching this uh, video, what's going on with Taurus and their person of interest in and around September 2020 or whenever they're watching. the top eight cards, the correct cards for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September of 2020 or whenever they're watching. And is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck? Perfect. What do we have here at the bottom of the deck? We have the Two of Swords. Upright or reverse the Two of Swords. So stalemate energy between you and your person right now. Somebody may be needing to make a decision, a very important one, that they don't feel like they really have enough information to make it with. Uh, but this is, you know, ultimately it is a, an impasse energy. You guys have hit some sort of impasse with your person and nobody wants to give in. They don't, maybe it's no compromise or just something is just completely, you know, undoable or something. It's just, it feels undoable. I'm not saying that it is, but there's a stalemate energy between you and your person right now. Okay, so how are you feeling about that, Taurus? How are you feeling about them? We have the King of Cups. Upright or reverse the King of Cups. Well, you very much love them, Taurus. The King of Cups is full of love. His heart is huge and full of love, affection, emotion, wanting to shower you with it, but not always the most forthcoming uh, verbally expressive, verbally expressing those emotions, I should say. He's a more show the love rather than say the love. It doesn't mean that he won't ever say or express it. He will, but he's just... He's mature, This and it doesn't have to be a he. It can be a, a he or a she. It doesn't matter. This is King of Cups energy. Someone who's emotionally mature and able to control, you know, what what they do express. Knowing when it's, when it's time to show emotion and when it's not time to show emotion. Okay, but you definitely have a heart full of love for this person, whether you've told them or not. All right? So how are they seeing you? The Five of Wands. Hmm. Upright or reverse the Five of Wands? Upright or reverse the Five of Wands. So they're seeing you as very conflicted right now. 
there may be competition for you tourists. Some of you very beautiful or sexy badass Tauruses out there, okay, you might have uh, more than one option and they might see that there's a competition for you right now or they feel like they have to compete. Um, or they see you and feel like you're kind of competing or you're argumentative possibly for some of you because um, it, can, it can be competition, but it certainly is an energy of conflict, the five of wands. So they see you and they see conflict. There is some sort of conflict. We do see an impasse here. So you guys are in a conflict with this person, okay? Struggle. There could be more people in this situation that are, you know, adding to the conflict, and uh, because the five of wands typically, you know, you can see all the hands in this card. You know, there's a lot of wands. It typically, you know, involves more than just you and your person. All right. But either way, it's a struggle. It's a conflict. Could be a competition or feel like a competition. How do they feel about you? The page of coins. Hmm. Upright or reverse the page of coins. So they do want to offer you something, Capricorn, but I feel like maybe, I don't know, they're just a little bit shy about their offer. They might have already offered you something and you felt like you were breadcrumbed, maybe. It could be because this can be a breadcrumbing card, but they do want to offer you something stable, but I don't feel like it's all that big. Like they may not be, you know, they're just reserved about what they're offering, okay? But they do want to offer you something stable. I just don't think it's like, you know, giant, gigantic, you know, a big, a grand, I don't think it's going to be a grand gesture or that they feel like they need to do a grand gesture right now. I, it's like a, they want to take it slow. Pentacles are slow energy. They take a long time to, um, to come to fruition. You know, uh, what happened in the past between you and this person, the fool Aries energy. So you could be dealing with Aries. It's your first major arcana on the board here. Upright or reverse the fool. So I mean, this could go a few different ways. We'll have to see. I do feel like maybe, you know, obviously something started with this person. Maybe you thought this person was ready to take, you know, a leap. You took a leap towards them. They took a leap towards you and you started to get off the ground. Um, but then you hit some sort of impasse. Okay. It could also be that um, it was risky anyway to begin with. I do feel like it could have actually been a new beginning after something else happened for some of you. Or it could just be getting things off the ground. You both were very kind of footloose and fancy free free-spirited energies that came together and uh, kind of were coming together and taking a risk. It does imply a risk. Again, could be Aries energy. Somebody could have been foolish, even. It could be that simple, okay? <laughs> Somebody could have made a very foolish mistake in the past. We'll have to get more cards and see where that takes us, but let's see what the current energy is between you guys. We have the Five of Swords. Jeez. The five of wands and the five of swords. So big changes are going on right now in your life, Taurus. Upright or reverse, the five of swords. Yeah, so this connection is undergoing an overhaul because the fives are all about change. So they see you and they see conflict or they see you're conflicted or maybe they think you're causing the conflict or they're just in a conflict with you. And the current energy of the connection, we have the two of swords and the overall which is an impasse. And we have the five of swords here in the current energy between you guys. You're both out for yourselves. And uh, there's really no other way to say it. Both of you are just like kind of guarded and wanting to win this conflict at all costs. Neither one of you are wanting to budge. The, neither one of you feel like you can compromise. You're both protecting your egos. Okay. Maybe acting in your egos. Okay. The whole purpose of the ego is to protect you. Okay. But sometimes it can get a little chuffed up, right? A little bit puffed up and, uh, and be a little overzealous in that protection is what I'm saying. So that could be going on here. It's kind of a tit for tat energy, right? Between you guys, whether it's playing out in the 5D energetically tit for tat, or if you're actually tit for tatting in the 3D, there's just an energy of, no, I'm not going to message until they message, or I'm, you know, no, no, they did this. I'm not going to do that or whatever. It's just kind of like reactive energy is just what I got. Reacting, you're reacting to each other reacting to in, in, in kind of an egoic way. And it, it goes both ways, Taurus. It's both of you guys, okay? So let's see. Like, I feel like you both are operating in your ego right now, okay? So just be careful of that, Taurus. It doesn't mean you're being a bad person. The ego is there for a purpose. But like I said, sometimes it can just feel a little overzealous, right? So what is your person most likely to do in regards to you in this connection this month? Or what is their most likely next move? We have temperance. Okay, beautiful energy, Sagittarius energy. Upright or reversed, the temperance. 
So your person wants to find some kind of balance with you, Taurus. They really want to be able to resolve this conflict with you. This is an energy of reconciliation, but also balance, you know, temperance, tempering the situation, compromise, patience as well. Okay, but definitely they don't want all this conflict with you and they're going to, they may be the ones to, you know, compromise. It's possible because they do have this temperance and what they're most likely to do. All right. So let's see what your advice is. What's your advising Taurus to do in regards to the stalemate? We have the high priestess. All right. That's Pisces energy. Upright or reverse the high priestess. Taurus, I feel like you just need to sit back and kind of be quiet. If you've been, if you've uh, reserved or pulled back from this person, like, especially, you're not expressing emotion, I don't think, right now. Uh, but you have it, but you're not really expressing it right now. And I think Spirit's telling you to go ahead and, and keep up quiet. You're being quiet, and I think that you need to be quiet. You need to be going within, searching your subconscious, uh, your dreams. You may be getting, you know, be being told to pay attention to your dreams as well. This is Pisces energy, which is ruled by Neptune, rules dreams, right? So pay attention to your dreams. You may be, uh, this is a very spiritual connection as well. I feel like Spirit's advising you to, uh, you know, realize if you haven't already that this is a very spiritual connection. And also when this comes up like this, I feel like this is, this is the universe, right? The, the great mother of all things, the womb that births all creation, right? The high priestess, I feel like she's saying, don't worry, I got this. All right. Whenever she shows up here, I feel like she's saying that you may need to, uh, surrender to the divine. Okay. Like to take a little, you know, line from moonology, surrender to the divine. I'm also getting here with that as your advice. So what's your most likely outcome with this person for September, 2020? The Magician. Hmm. Manifestation. Uh, that's Gemini Virgo energy. Uh, we are going to be coming up on a Virgo new moon soon. Upright or reversed the Magician. And also, by the way, I did just get reminded because it came up in the Capricorn reading that I just did a minute ago. In the advice here, this high priestess, Pisces energy. We're about to have a full moon in Pisces on Wednesday. So you could be being advised that something significant could happen in this. Something could change in this connection on Wednesday or there after Wednesday, after this Pisces full moon. Cause remember full moon energy is from full moon to full moon, new moon energy is from new moon to new moon. So there's definitely changes going on in this connection right now. I feel like you're being advised also that maybe something significant could happen in this connection at this coming full moon in Pisces or the new moon in Virgo, because this is Virgo energy also Gemini as well. All right. So let's see the magician in your outcome. That's manifestation, uh, Taurus. All right, so <clears throat> it's having the power, realizing you have the power to manifest whatever you have, having what it takes, having all the tools that you need to get it done, okay? So, but manifestation, you may have been trying to manifest this connection or something in this connection for a while, and it's coming. All right, so let's see. Spirit. Please clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out, two by two, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2020, or whenever they're watching. All right, here we go. Are the top 16 cards the correct cards to clarify the ones that are already laid out for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2020? And is, are the two cards at the bottom of the deck the overall energy reflection? Ooh, upright or reverse the lovers? And upright or reverse the four of pentacles? All right, so I feel like... Um, Hmm. Somebody's there may be a choice. Okay, we do have the lovers, which can indicate a choice. It's more Gemini energy, which we do have with that magician there as well. So, you know, for some of you, you or your person may have a choice between two people here. Okay, and somebody's really trying to figure out which one they want to hang on to. 
All right, this is not wanting to let either go. I feel like somebody may have a choice to make here and they don't want to let either person go or either thing go. It doesn't have to be another person. A third party is just anything that, anything, any kind of energy. It could be a job, a family member, and, and a mindset. Anything that comes in between you and this, your connection is a third party. Okay, so your your person or you is struggling because they don't want to let go of something or someone. But I do feel like there is some sort of choice that needs to be made. It's a very strong connection, but you're at an impasse with this person. You don't feel like you can really move. Hang on a second. I'm gonna pause. I need more light. All right. So, how do you feel, Taurus? You love this person very much. The Seven of Pentacles. May have been waiting for a while. I think I said that a minute ago. The Emperor. You may not be, like with Zen Pass, you may be like, no, um, no. That's a my way or the highway kind of energy. Upright or reverse the Seven of Pentacles. Mm. Upright or reverse the Emperor. Mm, Taurus. Okay, so you very much love this person, but you're giving up. <laughs> You're not investing anymore. You're like, no, whatever has been going on in this connection, you're putting your foot down, Taurus. This is, I'm putting my foot down energy, okay? And you're putting your foot down and saying, I'm not investing another fucking morsel of energy into this connection until whatever, you know, something. You're at an impasse. There's a conflict. Until this conflict is resolved, until, you know, this impasse is passed, you're not investing anything else. You've made up your mind. The emperor has made up their mind, male or female. But you love this person very, very much. But you just can't accept whatever it is they're offering right now. You had to put your foot down. And if there's, you know, if there is a third party, that may be why, obviously. And I don't think there's a third party for all of you, but I, I mean, I should put it this way. There probably is, but it doesn't, it's not going to be a, another person for all of you, for sure. Okay. Or it's not going to be another romantic person for all of you, for sure. But I think there probably is some sort of choice that needs to be made here with this uh, Two of Swords and the Lovers and the overall energy. Okay, so now how does your person see you? There's some sort of conflict regarding you. The Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Upright or reverse the Eight of Pentacles. Upright or reverse the Seven of Cups. So let's see. Your person sees that you're not putting any more effort in because uh, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You're just not going to put any more effort in. All right. You're giving up. Uh, there's a conflict. You need to get clear. They see you as probably possibly having had a lot of options or and you're eliminating them maybe as an option or just being confused. And you're like, no, I'm getting clear. I'm not putting any more effort into this. This is a conflict that just this is an impasse with this two of swords over here in the overall. Right. So well, this conflict, you know, maybe. um I just feel like maybe they're confused. I don't know. And you're just not going to deal with that energy anymore. Okay. That wishy-washy stuff. I don't know. But you're not putting any more effort. And they know. You're not putting any more effort. All right. Let's see how they feel. The Page of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. And the Five of Pentacles. So many fives. Now you've got, well, you have two Five of Swords. But now you have the Five of Pentacles. Also, you have three out of the four fives. Upright or reverse the Five of Swords. Upright or reverse the Five of Pentacles. Oops, sorry, it was already going reversed. That's how light I hold the pendulum, by the way. It falls out of my hand all the time, falls out from between my two fingers. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see. Uh, they don't, they want to reconcile Taurus. If you guys are in a fight, they definitely don't want to fight. They want to lay down their sword. They want to resolve this conflict. You've got them on the freezer. Cause you're like, I'm not putting any more effort in. It doesn't mean you don't love them. You might've, you know, just told them I love you, but you know, uh, no more. I can't do this anymore. Uh, and you may have shut them out in the cold, you know, um, and they want to come back out. They want to come back in from the cold. They don't want to be in your freezer. They don't want to have this egoic energy exchange with you anymore. They do want to offer this maybe apology. They may really want you, I mean, want to apologize to you. Um, or it could just be, like I said, offering you something, um, something stable. Okay. They, I feel like they know they have to offer something. Taurus is all about that stability. So if this person came in trying to 
be wishy-washy, have an, uh, entertaining other options or anything like that. Taurus ain't going to have that. Okay. Taurus wants stability. All right. So they know that I think they have to offer you something stable if they want to come in out of the cold and end this, this conflict. Okay. So, or, or they know they have to apologize for some of you. It's not about civility. It's just about an apology. It could be for sure. Um, what happened in the past? The fool, the tower. Ooh. And the hierophant. Hmm. Upright or reverse the tower. Upright or reverse the hierophant. Well, that's your energy, Taurus. I feel like this person brought on stability and there was a tower. I think you realize, honestly, this is about realizing maybe that this person is noncommittal. Is a damn fool, Taurus. You realize this person is a damn fool. They just want to be a free spirit, full, you know, footloose and fancy free. They're not about a commitment. They're not about settling down. They're not about stability, Taurus, with this hierophant in reverse. It's another five, by the way. Okay? So lots of changes. Okay? So something happened in the past, and I feel it's rather re recent that, you know, you just realized this person may never commit. Okay? They may never give you the stability that you seek. Okay? They may be in a very immature energy with that fool. All right? I just feel like you woke up about that. You may have had to bring the tower to them. Okay, and that's why they're feeling left out in the cold. And you're just, you just decided, I feel like you had a wake-up call. I'm not putting any more effort into this. I'm not putting any more effort into this, Taurus said. Okay? Until this is resolved. Not into this. I'm not uh, uh, investing any more, Taurus says. I'm not investing any more into this. Okay, if you have something new, but this energy, you're done with. I can see. All right, so what's going on right now? You're both kind of protecting yourselves, you know, uh, ego, uh, egoic energy exchange, tit for tat kind of thing. The Queen of Cups and the Chariot. Hmm. Upright or reverse the Queen of Cups. Now we have the Queen and the King now in the same reading. So obviously a lot of you that are not new to tar uh, tarot know that that means soulmate energy twin flame type of stuff to divine counterparts upright or reverse the chariot some of you could be dealing with another taurus gemini virgo pisces or cancer or aries okay so right now i feel like you guys yes you both are swimming in a sea of emotion okay even though you're in this energy this is what it looks like on the outside and this is what it looks like on the inside behind closed doors you're both in your feels okay you're both really wanting to overcome this impasse this obstacle and any other obstacles that come in the way of this connection you guys might be uh contemplating moving on from the connection but i don't feel that i feel like you both want a victory you both want to overcome this impasse this obstacle and and achieve balance and we do see your person coming to you with temperance and this is also the chariot is about balance as well balancing those light and shadow energies right so you know i mean there's hope i do see that there's hope you definitely have strong emotion for this person and want to overcome this but i feel like you know there's just an impasse and somebody's going to have to compromise it looks like it's going to be your person taurus because I don't see you doing it. Oh no, hell no, Taurus is like, uh-uh, no way. Nope. Whatever it is, you feel you can't budge on it, Taurus. You're you're done until they they either have to compromise or you're gonna have to leave the building. All right, so what are they gonna do? Temperance, Knight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. So, let's see, upright or reversed, the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So, I feel like this person is going to come back at you. They are going to want to offer you something stable. We see the Page of Pentacles over here and the Knight of Pentacles is how they feel and the Knight of Pentacles is what they're most likely to do. Going from the Page to the Knight, the Knight of Pentacles, I call him Sloth because he's so slow and you might, like, literally lose you know grow gray hair and stuff while you're waiting for this energy however once it gets there if you do have the patience to wait for it it's worth the wait okay this guy is bringing the goods guy or girl whatever the knight of pentacles is solid stable right up taurus is alley right that's just what you want this person's coming with a very persistent energy they don't want to lose you taurus i feel that they're determined to 
to reconcile, determined to bring the balance back. And I feel that they know that they probably have to offer you the stability that Taurus craves or desires or needs, wants, whatever, in order to do it. So I feel like they're determined to do it. Okay, so your advice... Pay attention to your dreams, Taurus. Know that the universe has your back, okay? And uh, don't be overly communicative with this person right now while they're figuring things out on their own. Sometimes you just got to give somebody uh, some time and space to let them figure things out on their own, okay? So the High Priestess with the Eight of Wands. Ooh, I think a fast change is coming. And this, yep, do. Okay, so... <laughs> Hold on, let me just confirm the direction. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to stay upright. Upright or reverse the Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like this impasse is coming to um, coming to an end very quickly. It's going to be like all of a sudden you work things out. And I think it, it this might literally be telling some of you at the Pisces full moon literally overnight like it's good and I've, I'm gonna tell you right now Taurus that shit happens to me all the time and it's very much happened to me for the last several months like literally at the Gemini new moon something very significant happened in my life okay that literally the day of within an hour of the conjunction at the full moon in Capricorn eclipse something very significant happened as well within 24 hours of that actual phase of that moon. Then at the Leo new moon and the cancer new moon also. And then the, um, what was the full moon that we just did? The full moon in Aquarius. Oh my God. Yes. Shock and awe. Okay. And then we had the new moon in Leo. And again, within 24 hours, I've seen events happen. So I'm expecting stuff to happen in my life at the full moon in Pisces. Okay. Which by the way, I do have my moon in Taurus. So, um, this, I feel like, is telling you something is coming, uh, and it very well may be at that full moon in Pisces, okay? Um, and it's going to be a fast change, and all of a sudden, things are just going to smooth out, I feel like. And it's going to be like, really? Did that just happen? <laughs> like, like I'm just getting like a we can forget all about it kind of energy, to be honest. But again, also, I think you're being told to pay attention to your dreams. And uh, also, uh, don't be very communicative right now. Wait for this person. I feel like they will communicate with you that they want to, to work this out, okay? So just hold tight, Taurus. All right, so what is your outcome? Most likely outcome, the Magician, the Eight of Cups, and Judgment, Scorpio energy. <clears throat> Upright or reversed, the Eight of Cups. Upright or reversed, Judgment. All right, so there you go. You've manifested it, Taurus. It's saying, if this person's left you, they are returning. If you left this person, you will return and resurrect this. Judgment is divine energy, by the way. Okay, we do have the high priestess here. We have the lovers. This is definitely, and we have the king and queen of cups. This is definitely, we have the high priestess and the hierophant, by the way. The hierophant is in the reverse and it's in the past, but it's interesting that Capricorn also had that. Um, but it's a very spiritual connection. Um, and I feel that it's divinely ordained with this judgment card in your outcome. So we have the magician. Maybe you manifested this, whatever way you did it, law of attraction, you know, good old fashioned, just whatever you do to put energy into stuff. Or some of you could actually have done, you know, some sort of, uh, spell work, you know, to call in your soulmate or something, anything, right. But whatever, this person is not leaving, or if they did, they're coming back and vice versa. If it's you, okay. This connection is coming back around in September or whenever, you know, shortly after you watch this reading judgment, it is a decision. There is a decision and we do see the two of swords here. So somebody needs to make a decision. I feel like your person, it's probably your person and they will. And it's going to be to revive this connection, okay? Because it is meant to be at this time. I'm not saying this is your forever person. It could be. But I'm just saying this, that it's not over. That's what I'm saying. It's coming back, okay? So, and it's meant to come back is my point. It doesn't mean, again, that it's meant to be forever. It might be. But it is definitely meant to be again, okay? So... That's what I have for you, Taurus. If you're interested in looking more into how this person feels about you what they're most likely to do next, get you more advice and more on the outcome as well as Oracle uh, cards, then you can follow me over to Patreon where we'll be looking at that stuff. Otherwise, if this is where we part ways, I thank you so much anyway. I'm so glad that you tuned in. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed September. 
and it looks like things are going to work out pretty good in the end. And you guys take care. Talk to you in October. Thanks. Bye.